back to my channel. It's Stella, or if you're new here, hi and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. On my channel, I focus on fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. I also throw in some pet videos, including this one. Today's video is going to be all about frequently asked questions on my cats. The last two videos that, that I filmed with my cats, I got a lot of questions, and I thought, why not just sit down, answer all the questions you guys have, and maybe this will be even helpful for people that are looking to buy Scottish Folds and British short hairs. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update of what they look like now. This is Cartier. This is Versace. They definitely grew a whole ton since the last time you guys saw them. Cartier's eyes decided to become a yellowy color. She's very cute. They're such amazing cats. I love them both so, so much. And as you guys can tell, they are now best friends. And look how cute his face is. But yeah, this is the update on them. I have all the questions on my phone here that I'll be answering, so let's just get right into the first one. The first question that is the most asked from you guys is how much are they? What is the price of them? So this depends on honestly every cat, what color they are, if their ears are folded, if they're not, if it's a girl, if it's a boy, you know. There's going to be different principles and different prices that vary a lot, but I'm gonna share what I personally paid for them. I honestly think that I got them for a really good deal. So we got Versace for $800, and I think that is honestly a really good deal for what he is. Now Cartier, we got her for $1,000, and I also think that's a really great deal because she is purely white and she's a girl so usually girls are a little bit more expensive but i think we got them for a really great deal the next question is where did you buy them and we got them from craigslist i would be looking there day and night all day to see what pops up what's new you have to honestly check every single day because people take these cats like that next question is how many weeks were they when you took them home i picked up versace when he was nine weeks and cartier at seven weeks next question is are they affectionate and i can tell you guys yes they are extremely affectionate i have never seen cat breeds being this affectionate because cats are just really independent but these breeds are so sweet they want to be sleeping by you if you close the door on them in the bathroom or even in your room they're going to be waiting until you get out meowing at the door at least in my experience they just want to be by you all the time they actually are constantly licking us our arms our legs our toes but overall yes they are extremely affectionate another question is do they get mad slash sad when you leave them home alone all day so our cats don't really show that they're mad or sad and I don't know if maybe that's because we have two of them so they keep each other company they actually get really really excited when we come home they'll be rubbing on our legs waiting for us to give them food um so they get actually pretty excited i don't know maybe if your cat is alone at home all day with no other cat companion then it, maybe they will get a little bit sad but speaking from my experience with two I think they're just fine. Another question I get is, do I let them go outside or are they indoor only? I'm really strict about this. I don't let them go outside and I only keep them indoor. I want them to be really clean. I like knowing that my cats are going to be really clean when they come onto my bed, couch, whatever it is. I just like the ease of mind of knowing my cats are clean. So no, they do not go outside and they only stay inside. Another question is, are cat scratchers a must? I personally believe they are because a cat's nature is to constantly do something with their claws and sharpen them and it feels really good for their knuckles and it's just going to be something that you can't stop them from doing so I would totally totally recommend you to get a cat scratcher small big it doesn't matter we just have a really small one that's like about this size and they absolutely love it they don't do anything to our furniture but if they happen to a scratch on your furniture and they just don't want to stop I do have a thing that I would recommend you guys to get, and that is this. It is called Smarty Cat Scratch Knot. You just spray it on your couch, bed, whatever it is that you have that they're scratching on. They hate the smell of it because it's citrus. Another question is, do they shed because they have short hair? So they definitely do shed way less than a normal cat because their hair is dense and it is shorter, but they do have shedding seasons, and you honestly can't expect a walking animal that's full of fur to not get any hair anywhere. Um, that's just unrealistic it can come off from stress it can come off from playing so I can't say that they don't shed completely but yeah other than that they definitely don't shed as much as regular cats do another question is how long did it take for Versace and Cartier to become best friends so I will say every cat's personality is completely different but in my case it took one month for them to get 
comfortable. Now best friends, I would say like one and a half to two months. It was honestly pretty draining and a lot of work. We had to have them in separate rooms with their separate litter boxes. It was on Versace's part. He was constantly hissing at her and Cartier was just carefree. She didn't even care. He was just the one that was very territorial of a new cat coming to his home which I totally understand, but it felt like this was never going to end and as if their personalities just don't clash together. But over time, it was definitely worth the wait because they are now best friends. What we did was we had them interact on every single feeding. I did mention this on my last video when we brought Cartier home, is that their bowls every day, we would just bring them closer in together to the point where they got really comfy because when cats have feeding time, they're obviously very happy and they're in a good mood. So that is what Google said for us to do is to have them interact every time that we would feed them. And we fed them three times a day. So three times a day, that is when they saw each other when they are doing something they both love. Another question is why do I give my cats a bath? They don't need to be bathed, they lick themselves. And I know that, that is very true. They don't need to be bathed, but I do like having my cats smell good. Knowing the fact that they go in their litter all the time, they just start smelling and I don't like that. That's one reason is I like to keep them smelling fresh. And the second reason is I find that when I give them a bath the hair stops shedding as much after I bathe them I give them a good good brush and I feel like it goes back to not as shedding as it is after a long time of no bath I don't give them very often since I know that they both lick each other but that is why I like to give them baths all right those are all the 10 frequently asked questions that I have for you guys if you guys have any other questions that you may have you can leave them in the comments and I'll just respond to them there if you guys enjoyed watching this make sure to give me a like and if it was informative let me know and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye